think of that box would have been gone by now. Yeah, um, it surprised me too. That's the right color and full length drawers. There ain't no excuse for that box not being able to sell. We, uh, we have sold a couple of add-ons. We sold a top chest, a locker, and uh, I've got a guy that's wanting to actually buy a box, and but he wants to go ahead and uh, put a chest and maybe a locker or two on it. So that's uh, what I'd suggest. If you're gonna do it, do it when you get it, and we know it's gonna match. Well, if 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 your approval is 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 right for it and you can afford the payment to do it all at once that's the time to do it but also if that payment for just the box is going to put you that close to the edge maybe it's not the time for that box just yet um, that's kind of like going to buy a brand new car when you have to have those well if i can work an extra three hours a week or you know if you're that close this may not be the right time but yeah um how is the tvs selling compared to the 4s Ford. Oh, it's selling right, good. I don't know. Some of the distributors uh, in other areas can sell 6S just as quick as a 2S. Um, as far as me, the 2S sells really well. My area really accepted the 2S well. Um, and they'll probably accept the 4S uh, just as well when they do the upgrades to it um, that we're expecting. So, What are they going to launch that? Or what do you know about it? Expo. Um, normally it's a really good sign when we start seeing part numbers are going to be discontinued. That usually shows us that there's new part numbers coming. Uh, and I think I saw where like four or five part numbers were, were going away. So um, I have no doubt that we'll probably start seeing them at Expo. Um, they may do it, they may walk into it slowly. So it's not like one big, you know, okay, no longer these, here's these. Um, or then again, they may. We, we, <laughs> We fly out next Friday. We'll see, but um, yeah, I think I think next week could uh, tell us a lot. So. Be cool to see what's coming. Yeah, um, I've got my hopes up. I hope not to uh, get down there and find out that it's just more back orders on everything. <laughs> you know, uh, I know it's it's not one person's fault, uh, but it's just it's hard. It's hard to understand why we're this long into it and still having to tell people every week you know when you're used to telling everybody three days you know you order it today it's three days which we have got a lot better um my back order list went from high 30s down to i looked the other day and it's like four so you know as, as far as back orders we've got a lot better but it's kind of like a big push and then okay well we're out again so give us a little while and we'll store you back up but definitely not behind on pro bars i got plenty of pro bars back there We've got a pretty good sale going on them because of it. So, um, every color, multiple colors, <laughs> uh, a couple of each one. I'd I'd like to see that. I'm hoping so. That way, my my cart deal that I'm gonna try to do in all blue would be great. I don't figure that I don't figure that box is gonna last long, no. or cart. And I might do it with a toolbox. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. If this makes it to after Expo and I get my blue stuff in, it may be either or. You know, because some people don't need a cart. That's just not what some people do. So if they'd rather have a box. I may just transition it into a box deal. What? What new stuff you got this week? What we've been uh, talking about this week um, sold a bunch of the Mako buckets. Um, something about they needed something to put ice in. I, I guess they. Taking ice. Beer. Oh, is that? Is that right. like, you can put six beers in here and fill it up with ice. <laughs> uh, I didn't order enough. I know that. I just got that one in uh, yesterday. Uh, I, you know, I'm selling them for like twenty-three bucks. Um, I didn't. I didn't think that would just be something that I've got guys that says they're going to use them as a bolt bin. I've got guys that says they're putting ice in them. Oh. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, it's, yeah, um, nice relaxing, right? But we've also been pushing uh, our body shop guys. Well, I have left, the, and it's my fault. Uh, a body shop guy asked me the other day when I was gonna be, um, 
I guess pushing for body shop stuff, you know. And I haven't really ever thought about it. I guess because I don't, or have never really, I worked there for just a little while, but not enough to matter. I don't know what they use. Um, so I've started venturing out. And this thing right here, um, I've already, I got one in. Uh, I talked to him about it. He wanted this one. Now I've got four more sold. So, you know, and a lot of them, not only the body shop guys, they're, they think they can do something else with it. So, hey, go ahead. Um, but as far, they've got one that goes on an air hammer. Um, I think it'd be good for like taking inner fenders out because it's so tight to get in there, especially like on the seven three trucks. Yeah. You gotta get in there to the well, and that's what we had another guy ball. talk about. He said that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, but he actually the guy that ordered it needed it for um, changing panels and stuff, the uh, spot wells and stuff. Okay, sure. Um, and then, like I said, I've sold four more, so. We're gonna target them a little bit more. So if you do body work, that's something. They do have the one for an air hammer. He said he didn't really want it because he didn't want to damage where it was going back. I understand that. I'm sure you can control it uh, in some sort of way, but he just didn't want that. So we've been doing that. And then we've had some techs. Um, everybody knows right now it's hard getting workers and everything. So we've got a lot of new people coming in, but we've also got a lot of new people coming in that are still um, I've got high school students that's coming in after school that's trying to get into learning stuff. So uh, they don't need the um, most expensive stuff right now. So we do we have ventured out and, and got some pretty good deals on some other stuff that we're that we're selling. Good quality stuff. It's just it costs a little less. So uh, like our headlamps, we got them on sale for them. Um, we had some uh, carbide scrapers. Uh, buy one get a uh, free pair of pliers for a funnel um, just just something to help the new guys uh, well you know I've come to figure out a lifetime warranty is a lifetime warranty right really well and that's you know and that's that's what we told the the kids uh, that, that and I don't I don't mean to call them kids they're just younger than me and I've been called a kid since I was born I guess but um, when you're still in high school getting on here throwing you know that much money it just don't make sense um, some of the places that they're at are buying the tools for them and they don't they don't know if they can trust them just yet with a super super high dollar uh, product um, well, but when the quality is good it's got a warranty that's the difference between you and a lot of dealers like you look at the actual person that's buying the tools and help them get what they actually need that fits their budget and their income level where I think that's kind of part of the problem that, that we got now. Like all these tech schools, they, they put them in the snap-on program and they shove snap-on down their throat. And they're in such debt when they get out of school that most of their money is going back to pay to the bills. And I mean, it's, it's kind of set up backwards in a way, I think. Well, know, and a guy it's a lot of other... Yeah, well, and, and, and that's one of the reasons... Um, and this can go down a rabbit hole that we probably don't need to go down, but um, that's one of the reasons I'm not just real big on college. Like, I, I'm, I'm fine if you want to go to college, that's that's great, I'm proud for you. But it's hard for me to justify somebody, college to me is just overpriced. Uh, I'm not saying that it should be free by no means. Um, but when you go and you spend that much money and the first 10 years of your profession is paying that back, well, or longer, depending on what you're going to be. But you know, our daughter, uh, she went to college and graduated. My niece did too. And, you know, they're in the education system. And there's just not much money there. You know, I mean, it don't pay that well. And it takes, Lord, if she had to pay her own student debt off, it probably take her 15 years. I see, and see. Because of the. And I want my daughter to go to college. I do. Uh, I want all three of my kids to go to college if they want to. I don't right. want them to go. And just yeah, I don't want them to go and just waste money. That's not that's not what I'm about. But also, you mentioned the 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 vocational class. When you when you pick one of those classes out, be sure to do a little research on it. If it's going to benefit you to go to that, because I know a couple that you go to, it's just a waste of time. Um, I have personally had to go back and train some of the guys that went through that. If that's going to be the case, it's doing you no good. Um, we have a really really great one in our area. Um, that the people go high up on, and then we have one that's just not just not as great as it could be. Um, it's kind of stuck in the past. 
that doesn't help. If you're not learning what's now, yeah, yeah. then that's just not going to help. Well, I remember when, when I was in high school, um, you know, our local community college here, I went and toured it, you know, looked at all the mechanics, diesel mechanics, and welded trains, you know, tool and dime, all that. And I remember when I walked in that shop, now this is 1996, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. it's not. Like, I know I'm old, but it wasn't the 80s. But right. When you walk in there and all of their vehicles that sit in there for their practice vehicles at Shatire Park, everything in there was corporated from, like, the early days. Yeah. I'm like, man, this is not Like, this ain't where it's at right now. Well, and there's there's one that, that, that's still that way today. They still work on carbureted. They're still, um, if, if you're not learning the can high, can low, um, drive by wire, any of that stuff, it's just not now. And well, it's going now. You almost have to be a computer technician to work on cars. I mean, it's it's a lot yeah, of they're, electrical work and computers. And well. And I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. Absolutely love it. But uh, I wish more of it was like that. Because if you put a carburetor in front of me right now, I'm probably going to struggle with it. Um, and the only reason I'm going to struggle with it is because that screw goes two ways. And it seems like if you turn it just a little bit, it's already messed up. So um, I'll figure it out. I'll listen to it get figured out. But um, I've just seen so many guys that come out and they're like, yeah, well, you know, we, we tore this down or we tore that down. And it's like, well, that's great. But you're not going to be doing that here. And it definitely not at a leadership level. You know, that, that, well, yeah, I mean, long pours now, full winter, everything's fuel injected. Yeah. Well, and some of the stuff that I, because I do have a couple of like John Deere dealerships and, and some others, um, and they come on here and they, and the stuff that they're buying, it's like, do you need that for that, that lawnmower? Yeah, man, it's, you know, it's like, oh, wow, okay. Uh, and, and the more and more they go electrical with stuff, it's just, you, you better be ready. But I wish instead of forcing all the kids, it seems like when they graduate, the, the force is you got to go to college. We can't hire you, which is laxed a little bit right now, but it has been, you got to go to college before we'll hire you. Well, if, if in, especially in the automotive world, why not put that with your best guy, hire that kid, put him with your best guy and say, watch, Trump be hit. Well, and that would do two things. That would do two things. That guy that is slaving away every day, we've already talked about all the, the, the pain that comes with this job. Hey, will you run and get me this 10? Will you run and get me this? We so he's learning tools because we have I'm, in one of these uh, vocational classes that we've been talking about, they don't even know their tools. Like uh, one of the guys that was in that class told me that the reason he quit is because literally some of the people in there didn't know what a ratchet was from a wrench, what you know this was from that, and you know if you're having to test what the tools are right off the bat. Um, that's hard. So let's. And I think a lot of that is our fault as parents. It is. Because we let the kids stay inside, playing on the Xbox and the PlayStations and watching TV and sitting behind a computer. It is. And we're not taking them out in the garage. We're not teaching them the stuff. Like, my kids, when they grew up, I made sure, like, oh, my bicycle chain came off, Dad. Okay, let's go fix it. You know? Well, and I hope I haven't waited too late because I didn't do that at first. Um, Bins that I like to work on everything, it don't matter what it is. If it breaks at my house, I try to fix it first. Uh, and if I can't fix it, it can't be fixed, so I go buy another one. I know that's probably not right. right. But by the time I get done trying to fix it, if I, if it was, it's, it's either fixed or messed up oh, more. Yeah, I, that's why I am. I it, either fix it or I break it beyond repair. Yeah. Like, they ain't no coming back. Right. Like, it come to the extent that uh, I was looking up circuit board repair the other night. And, and I want to get into that, but either way. Um, so, my oldest daughter... Um, she's 11. Now when something messes up, you try first. You know, well here, let me tell you what to do. Uh, used to it was just me fixing it, me being, I hope I haven't waited too late, but so. I've waited. I, Especially with your youngest son. Like, I said that the pictures of him on these trucks with tools, like that kid's gonna be something right there. Well, and he is so observant about everything. We had um, a heater, we bought a heater to go out in uh, the new living room that we built. And it's, it's electric just because that's the only one we couldn't get a gas one at the time but and it, it kept flipping and cutting off and it had an error code so I'm like well, I'm gonna look at it I don't know and I was down on my knees shining a lot and I felt something and I look up and he's right there bent down looking to uh, and you got to watch him because he's gonna watch what you do and then when you turn your back he's gonna be trying to do it it don't matter what you do um, 
he's going to be trying to do the same thing. And, uh, man, I hope it continues. I do. Um, but as far as my two daughters go, I'm trying when something breaks, I'm trying now to push them into try to fix it yourself. You know, let's, I don't even, at this point, I don't care if they mess it up more. Uh, if I have to buy a new one because you tried something wrong, that's fine. You know not to do that next time. But I want you to learn that that lesson. And I even told my daughter the other day, uh, when I was growing up as a kid, it didn't matter what it was. Uh, it didn't even matter that it was messed up. I can remember taking a weed eater apart and not being able to put it back together. Uh, I'm not sure my dad was the happiest about that. I think it was an electric weed eater. But um, it got to the point to where when the, the turning tail with me was a BB gun. Uh, I ended up letting my cousin talk, talk me into taking it apart. Uh, couldn't get it back together and I didn't get another one so uh, I remember my dad and we tried to put it back together but he got frustrated too we just sat it down and I just sat at the desk one day and all day till I got it put back together and it seems like from that point on I learned that when I took something apart to know where every single piece goes back and that's what I'm trying to get her to do because when you learn that you learn then to where when you take something that comes in already apart well, I know this usually does this, or this usually does that. So, I just wish that everybody didn't have to get pushed into college. Well, it was a lot harder when I was a kid because you didn't have a cell phone to take pictures and stuff. Either. Right. Like, I'm, I'm bad about that. Like I'll take a picture of something. Yeah. And then you know. Well, and we, we as people, labeled, and maybe the ones that was labeling, maybe we were the wrong ones. But when I was learning how to do all this stuff. Uh, if you Googled something, you got labeled as a Google technician, right? And that was a bad thing. But there's so much stuff on Google now. Like, I, you know, we all in the shop, if you Google something, we ragged you about it. Uh, maybe we were wrong. Well, I, let me let me take that. Let me take that back. Maybe we were wrong. It's incorrect. We were wrong. Um, a, the initiative to do it right was there. Uh, and B, you admitted that you didn't know what you were doing, so you were correcting it. So... Uh, young and dumb didn't realize it but there's so much good information on Google now I can't tell you the amount of times that uh, I've been in the middle of something and be like well I don't I don't know let me look it up right quick and there's a video of somebody doing it there's even videos um, I, I don't remember the name so I can't give them you know any credit but they do all they do is head gaskets they go around and they do head gaskets well they break it down piece by piece how to do it if you've got any technical skill at all and it and, and you think you can do it this video shows you step by step do this do this do this it's awesome um but back in my day you know there was no internet yeah i remember when the internet came out you know and uh, so you'd have to go to a farm store here buy those chip books <laughs> yeah whatever it is. i can't remember the name exactly i think it was something i started to say but that's the only thing that you had yeah. It was black and white pictures, and you had to actually physically read and comprehend what was there versus watching. So I didn't get a cell phone until I was in the eighth grade, and even then you had to buy minutes, so it didn't have internet. I think I was in the ninth grade before I got a phone that had internet. So um, all the stuff that I had worked on previous to that, about bicycles and just random uh, lawnmowers and stuff like that, uh, I had either my dad or a grandpa, um, and we. <sighs> I took off to do the work on the house, and I know you compared it to like Bob the Builder and something else, um, which I thought was awesome. But the reason that I can do that is because I had one grandpa that did construction. I mean, that's just all he done. And then I had my my other one that worked on anything and everything. And because I had all them two and my dad, and and it was. I, had, I was exposed to that, and I'm afraid if I don't expose that to my kids, my son, my daughters, um, especially my daughters, because it seems like the world thinks, well, that's a girl, don't worry about it. Wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. I want my daughter to be able to be, uh, if something happens to me and and she's dating a guy or she don't have, she's not dating a guy and she's broke down on the side of the road, it's not because she didn't get an oil, yeah, it's not because she didn't get an oil change or it's not because you know, she didn't check her coolant. She didn't know what this light meant. She don't know how to change a tire. I don't want that to be the case. So um, I guess I just wish people would give kids more of a chance and don't make them spend all their money on tools or college or let's make it easier to get into it. Um, so that's why I do that. Every year, you know, we put on a thing where we actually go to the school and it's mostly girls. Yeah. Because the guys are too cool. 
to, to take the right. course, you know, but we'll show you how to change your flaps, we'll show you how to, you know, the right way to take load nuts off, how to jack up the car, how to change your, you know, check your oil, how to check your cooling, you know, all of that kind of stuff, how to jump a vehicle off. And so it's got to be the so correct way. How many people don't know how to use jumper cables? Right. You know, or even where to put them, or yeah. the red go to the plus, or the red go to the minus. Like, right. And, and, you know, it's always girls, but the boys are way too cool. Yeah. And you'd be surprised how many of those girls that's come back and said, hey, me and my boyfriend was going to Tupelo, we got down there in the car, wouldn't start. He didn't know how to jump at all, but I told him the red goes to the plus, the black goes to the minus, you do them both up the same way, they go here. So how cool is that? How cool is that? And, and that's the thing. Um, I have a neighbor that, that don't know how to do none of that. He should. Like, I, I don't know how. It, like, you don't know how to replace a battery. I just don't understand it. Um, and, and I don't understand the being scared, but learn it. You know, like, YouTube it. Do something. Ask me instead That's of asking me to do it. Say, Will you show me? That's right. And it's, then, like, if you go to grab the tools to do it, he needs to be like, hold up, let me do it. You watch me. Well, I've got to wear on uh, a lot of people. Um, that's what I do now. I, I'm, well, here, I'll show you how to do it. I'll tell you how to do it. Because most of the time when um, somebody says, hey, will you show me how to do something? They're wanting you. Yeah. They're asking you to do it for them. And I don't, I don't work that way. Well, yeah. You were talking it about... It take us two days to do your brake job, but I'm going to show you. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, you talked about changing the tire. You'd be surprised at the times that I've seen on the side of the road or... You'll see it. Driving down the road, a car sitting on the ground. And it's like, how did the car sit on the ground? Well, because they took the tire off without having a jack. Their idea was, let me take these lug nuts off with this tool that I don't know what's called, probably don't even know what's called lug nuts. And now the tire's sitting on the ground and you're wondering, is this person going to get a flat repaired and got to figure out how to get it back on there? Or are they sitting at the hospital because they crushed their hand? You just don't know. Um, I th between the battery? The school really should put on a program that teaches. Like, that should be part of driver's ed before you ever even get in a car to drive. Check the oil, check the coolant, know how to change the spare. Yep. I mean, that's, I mean, and know the lights on the dash. You know, th them lights on the dash ain't there just to make it pretty. Even change fuses. Like, you yeah. surprise how many people come in here that, you know, their cigarette lighter's not working. It's the simplest. It's got a coin or something down in there and it's a fuse, yeah. Well, and we talked about that. This truck, as much as it cost, was completely shut down, derated over a probably a three dollar fuse, you know, that somebody would have to spend five hundred dollars to get it towed somewhere, um, and then pay the labor of the person that does it. Um, learn how to do it, you know, save yourself some money. I'm not telling any kid not to go to college. Don't hate on me for that. I'm not telling you that. If you think you can learn from it and you're gonna learn, go to it. But I just wish they'd make it either A cheaper to where a lot more could afford it or B, make it to where um, they make enough when they get out of college that it pays for it. And and, and like you said, on the tools and stuff, I, I wanna be the go-to guy, right? Um, I don't wanna have to tell you to go to either A, AutoZone, Napa, O'Reilly's, go online, go to Harbor Freight. I don't wanna tell you any of those. All those places have good stuff. So if I can sell something that's uh, just as good in quality, I, you know, if, if it gets me some business, then I'm gonna do it. I'm 100% a Mako tool distributor, and I'm 100% going to push Mako tools if you can afford it. I'm, you have to take care of your customers. Yeah. That's the main thing. I don't want That's somebody. I don't want somebody going. Okay, am I going to eat this week, or am I going to pay my tool payment? Exactly. I don't want to be that. I mean, that's just not me. That's why you're a good tool builder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We gotta get back after it. Like always, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Check out here the merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down there. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great one. See ya.